it get me to like to work on other things like instead of going power I can work my hand movements like way to get around so it, I mean I wouldn't say tough I mean it's just like muscle memory kind of thing you know yeah ready to go get somebody else a little chippy today you said what? Y'all ready to get go against another team with a little chippy today, y'all? A little nice competition. I mean, shoot, if you you competing, you competing. You don't want to be nice to the competitor, do you? Right. No matter who it is. That's that's what it was. It's yeah, just competition. We shook up after the uh, after practice because it's all love, you know. Right. We are trying to make everybody better. No, I was um, well, I was rushing the quarterback, and then I seen that the court, uh, the running back scattered out, so I knew it was going to either be a um, throwdown or. A screen, so I just put my hands up. You know. I know Coach McCarthy talks to y'all a lot about. You kind of seem to find that today it was a skirmish. It wasn't a fight. Did, no. did he say anything afterwards, like calm down or you're close or just? No, he said good work today. That's what we want. Like we, especially in the trenches, like we yeah. supposed to be these mean, tough dudes. So we like compete against each other. Like, it, like it's just honestly, it's gonna make us better, especially like, especially the chippiness and because like we don't do it in practice. How? Like and know how to react, how we react in the game, you know. Especially for my first year, what if that happened in the game and I react wrong? But now I'm getting that practice, so like now I know like in the game, can't do certain things, you know. Just walk away, play the next play. On that play that you had, you had rush roll out to the right, rush into the flat, kept the, the mindset to get that PBU, you let out that roar afterwards. Is, do you enjoy coaching as much as you do putting your hands on the football? I just, I just enjoy football. Like I just want to play, you know what I'm saying. Especially if you make a play like that in a uh, situation like that. I mean, it's just a, just a thing. Like that's what we do it for, you know. Big plays like that. It don't matter if I'm rushing, covering, kicking. It don't matter. Like as long as I'm on the field, I'm happy. When you go into the locker room after each of these practices, what what has to happen for you to feel like you had a good day? Well, I, I never be complacent. I just always say, what can I get better? Like. Even like we got meetings and stuff, I always try to look at film and criticize myself. You know, uh, even if I had a good day, even if I, if I not, even if I like pass rush good, I'm like, what can I do better? What can I like? Okay, I beat him with power, but like, what other move can I use and stuff like that? So it's never, I never say I can, I have a good day. I say I, I have, I be improving. What move don't you maybe love of yours that you think you can take to another level that you're still working on? Probably my speed and power. Definitely my speed power. Is that something that you worked on more this off season, or you've been working on it for several? Um, I've been working on it quite often, but like obviously been in the field, the tackles are more heavier, and they know how to like to counter those. So like me and my coach, we put in time to work on like things like to to block those counters, to escape off the uh, power move. Like it's just certain things that's required of a power rusher that, that I need to learn, that I'm learning every day. You're talking earlier about, like you said, when you rush in the off season, you know, you can't get, you can't touch the quarterback and get to him. What, where did you improve technique wise? Do you feel the most in that off season where you're, where you're just having to get there, but you can't actually complete the quarterback? You know? I feel like my approach, like ba basically making the offensive tackle, like stop the feet. I feel like I, I did, like, I've improved and still improving on that uh, part of my uh, pass rush. Uh, we're, we're gonna bring you Good. Good. I asked you this earlier, Sam, last one, just the uh, mixing it up with the O-line. I mean, I assume that just goes with the territory of being in camp for two weeks, but uh, do, you, do you kind of relish that competitive aspect of it or just what? Uh, oh, I love it. Like, it, it, it it's going to either, like, beat you or like get you turned, like me and get me turned because I know these guys don't want to fight me, these guys don't want to hurt me. Like we just basically like doing what we love and having fun at it. Like if you don't, if, if we don't, if we come out here just same boring demeanor, it wouldn't be fun, you know? And that's that's what I like about these guys. They're going to come give it to me and I give it to them. And then guess what, after practice, hey, good practice, bro. Like that's that's how we are as a team. That's how we are as a family, so. It kind of seemed like from the sideline, like you fed off of it a little bit. Oh yeah, yeah, we all do, especially D-line. We be talking our junk, we you know, but at the end of the day, we we got the same goal, you know, like we just trying to win. What are the One more guys that they kind of brought y'all all together as a defense. What was their message um, as practice continued to go after y'all got chippy there? Uh, n nothing really, cause it never went too far, you know, as like big fights, nothing. So he just told us good practice. I mean, like in way to how to handle situations. Because like I said, like this is just preparing me personally for the game because what if uh, offensive linemen do something that I don't like and how would I react? You know, even especially like a game turning the situation. So I, I'm thankful for these situations because now in the game, I'll just be like, oh, next play. Then I get them next play. <laughs> All right, thanks, Sam. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.